Today's 1989Batman.com slash actionfeatures.net Toy Talk Review Merchandise Spotlight is on the Batman Dark Knight Collection Kenner Crime Control Set, which is all the essential crime-finding gear you need to battle bad guys. Um, Alright, so here's the box from the front. We've got the traditional Dark Knight Collection packaging here with the Michael Keaton Batman face off to the side. Um, and then we've got a kid dressed up with the crime control gear on. Um, he's all, he's got his freeze ray over here. He's got the crime control belt on with all of the weaponry stashed. And then we've got a picture of the crime control set and its many pieces over here and all built together here. Um, box is pretty large. Here it is from the, I don't know if you can see it quite. Well, let's do this. There we go. There we go. So there's the top of the box, we get that kit again, more shots of it all disassembled and put together. And there is the back of the box. We get all the instructions on how um, it goes from the separate pieces into the ultimate giant iron control weapon. What you're supposed to do with all the different gadgets and hoo-hahs. Uh, light up a signal buckle, whir whir for the sound, all that stuff. And then it just says it's the essential crime fighting gear again. And then we've got other of the roleplay accessory type stuff from the Dark Knight Collection along the bottom. The Sonic Neutralizer, the Battering Blaster, and the Armor Set. So let's look at it one more time from the front here before we take a look at the loose version. Alright, so here's the crime control set out of the box. Uh, all of its separate component pieces. We'll look at each one individually before we put it all together as the weapon for the close-up view. First of all, we've got the belt that has all the snaps here, so you can make it bigger or smaller depending on what size child was playing with this or small adult was playing with this. I'm not admitting anything. All right, uh, you press this button here, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell it. Yeah, you can kind of tell it. This section lights up, and it also pulls off of here, but sometimes it's a little tough to... There we go. Oh, come on. Ah, pulls off of there, and you can hold it on its own. To signal the bat mobile is what it says in the instructions. So there's the belt. Let's get that out of the way. Then we've got what they call the microphone piece, which is basically just a big, long, hollow stick. Put that off to the side. We've got the communicator walkie-talkie thing with the turning dial and the antenna, all that stuff. Put that over there. We've got the gun. I think everybody's asleep in the house, so I'm not going to squeeze the trigger, but I'll do it when we do the, the couch portion of the review. So there's that, and then the binoculars. Now, thanks to the miracles of modern technology, we've seen pieces, and now we see it all together. All right, so we've officially assembled the giant crime control weapon here. As you can see, that's a, that's a big mammer jammer, you know what I mean? That's going to take out bad guys with no issues whatsoever. Um, so, there it is. The crime control set, weapon, all put together. Um, if you want to see pictures of this thing close up, they'll be uh, linked in the info section, if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, including somewhere Keaton is taking this thing outside and he's playing around with it, which is pretty cool to see a kid nowadays playing with a, like, 24-year-old toy outside, something like that, 20... 23? I can do math. 23 year old toy. Uh, but for now, let's grab this guy we'll up and we'll take him over to the couch. We'll do the reviews. I've got new weapons that will stagger your imagination. Check this out signal belt, walkie talkie, binocular, and free gray. Together, the ultimate crime control unit. Look out, Joker. I'm armed like never before. And I'm gonna get you. The Dark Knight Collection, each sold separately. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another 1989Batman.com slash actionfeatures.net. Toy Talk Review Merchandise Spotlight. As you can see from the opening sequence, it's not a figure, it's not a vehicle, it's one of the first, well it is our first, of the role play accessory type reviews, and that is for the Dark Knight Collection Batman Crime Control Set, the essential crime fighting gear. Um, as you saw in the opening sequence, here's the box from the front, with this kid dressed all in black, chilling with this crime control set, and then here it all is from the back. Now this is one of three or four crime uh, I think it's four? Four? There's the battering blaster. No, there's five, I guess. Because there's the sonic neutralizer, the battering blaster, the armor set, the crime control set, and then the, um, the one thing, the crossbow. Right. So I think there's five? 
Uh huh. But do they all fit on the belt? No, the belt is only for the crime control set. Uh. Um, the crime control set is basically you get a belt. It's a five-in-one set. You get a belt and a bunch of accessory pieces, and then all those accessory pieces go together to then um, form one giant weapon. Right. And we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take apart the giant weapon. Well, I'll show it as a giant weapon first. Here it is. Uh, take it all apart, and then we'll show how everything works. Now we took we took Keaton outside, and he played around with this, and he took pictures of it on and with it on. And you'll be able to check out these pictures over on uh, the in the link if you're watching this on YouTube in the info section um, to see a kid playing with this thing. All right, so here's the belt. It's, it's cast in this sort of goldish color plastic they used on some other like vehicles and stuff on the line. I think the bullet bullet is cast in the same plastic. I'm gonna catch it there. Uh, it's it comes in multiple pieces. Like there's a, the belt piece, and then there's this other piece, and that is so you can size it, so it can it can get pretty big. I think this might actually have fit you. Mm -hmm. um, so then it just kind of clips around, and they peg, and then they can be adjustable and things like that. So it's just your basic belt. Right. And in the front of the belt, there's this bat signal portion that pulls out, and that lights up. It comes with the one it doesn't come with. You got to buy a AA battery. But then you put it in and you light it up by pressing this little button. So it goes there. in the dark. The bat signal will probably like show up. It might, yeah, it might show up on a wall. The wall, like this part's covered with the bat, then the light. It might, yeah, yeah, it might work like a bat signal in the dark. And behind that is like the, and then sort of like an engraved bat symbol on there. And then those that just pops on with two little pegs and attaches there. And then for the different pieces, you get a pair of binoculars. Ooh, there's no lenses. Just look through these binoculars. They're there, and then those, there's four little hangy things, three of which have pegs, and then those just kind of peg on like that. They just pop on there. Cool. So each piece then goes on. You get that piece. You get a walkie-talkie, which has a little turny dial thing. Oh, yeah, Alfred. Cancel the pizzas. Uh, so there's that, and then you get this, um, what they call the freeze ray weapon, and you squeeze the trigger. It makes an old like proton pack type noise, which was also made by Kenner. So maybe they just use the same mechanism inside there. Um, so we got the walkie-talkie, and then this is called the microphone. That's kind of weird. The worst of them. Oh, I see. Okay, so on the back of the package, he's pretending to listen for criminal activity using the walkie-talkie and this. So he's like holding out, and then like from far away, he's like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. Bad news for those guys. Or he can spy on Vicky with it. I wonder if she thinks I'm cute. Yup, she thinks I'm <laughs> cute. Okay, so then you can use that for that. And then, so is that everything? Is that all of them? Is that all the pieces? And all those pieces, the walkie-talkie thing goes in there. Keaton was using it as a beaten stick and when we took the pictures. He wasn't even interested in walkie-talkie or microphone type stuff. This just became a beaten stick. Okay. So all those pieces then go inside this belt here. You can carry them around, do whatever you want. Right. I love how they call this a freeze ray. It, does, it looks more like a pistol. It's a gun. Come on. We all know it's a gun. Um, so then you take all the pieces. Grab that from you. Okay. Take the walkie-talkie. It clips onto the top. Like that. You take the microphone and you plug it into the front of that. And then you take the... Uh, uh, binoculars, and you plug them back in here. That actually does look kind of like a cool weapon. And then you got this big weapon thing here, which you're supposed to look through the site and shoot people with. Now, does it say what that weapon's called? Um, nope. It just says, oh, it's to make the giant crime control weapon. So he controls crime by listening in on people, looking at them, freezing them, and then talking to them. <laughs> hey guys. Yep. Uh, so that's how he controls crime. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. As a kid, I would have I loved it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have really thought about a gun for Batman. We both talked about this, like, right. I wouldn't really think about it. But if it's a freeze the two, ray... The two things that make more sense are the binoculars and the walkie-talkie. Yeah, and the microphone, even, right. you know, for detective yeah. work. Uh, but if it's a freeze ray or maybe a stun gun, then it makes sense. Or a grapple gun. Or a grapple gun. But either way, I mean, it's cool. It's a great a, a, a little playset for kids. I would have really dug it as a but kid, you, you know, playing with it. I was a little old out. for this kind of thing, but at, at like Keaton's age, it says ages four and up, Keaton's six, he had a blast kind of outside playing with this right. and then playing with it at, in the house and stuff like that. Um, it's just overall a, a fun kid's toy. 
It's not something that you need if you're collecting this line. Right. Um, it's right. more like a completist type right. of thing. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to get something that, you know, for your kids to play around with. But they do kind of run a little expensive for this kind of toy. Which is, I think they usually go for like 40 or 50 bucks. If I would choose bucks. any of the role playing things, I'd choose the battering blaster because you can use the gun as a grapple gun, then the battering thing as a ba just a plain battering. Yeah, that's true. So the battering cool. blaster is pretty cool. Yeah. That's and we're going to get to that one. We're going to get to that one eventually. I just figured the crime control set would be a fun one to start off right. with, since it's a big one. What do you think of the crime control set, Keaton? Good. You think it's cool? Mm hmm. All right. Uh, so, kids give it a two thumbs up for sure. As a collector piece, not something you need, but maybe good for the junior dark knight in your life, right? Right. Alright, if you want to check out pictures of it, like I said, hit the info section on this video if you're watching it on YouTube, and it'll take you to pictures, not only of the, the just plain shots of just the pieces of the, the crime control set, but also oh, Keaton playing around with the crime control set, so you can see, you know, how it looks like when the kid's playing with it. Right? Yes. Alright, so we're going to sign off on this one, and we'll uh, talk to you guys next time.